Hey there folks, Ash here with another Power Rangers related video. Now this video is going to be me talking about and discussing and debunking one of the big rumours going on in the fandom. Now I'm not going to tear it apart bit by bit too much, but I want to come with this theory or the speculation with a bit of level-headed thinking because this rumour that's going around of this speculation I'm not here to tear, tear anyone down, I'm not here to tear down their hopes, their dreams, their rumours and speculations of what might possibly be happening, because if you didn't know, Hasbro PulseCon is this weekend, and they're going to be having a ton of special guests, and one of them is being three musical guests that will open and close the con, that being Tenacious D, Fallout Boy and Lights. Two of them I've heard of, one of them I have not, so... Yeah, so this brings up a big speculation in the fandom that one of these artists is going to be performing the theme song of Power Rangers. They're going to play Go Go Power Rangers or the future potential opening theme song for Dino Fury that will be airing in 2021. And although this would be a really cool thing to happen, I'm kind of on the fence thinking that this probably is not the case, and I don't think it's not going to happen. Now, it would be cool if it did happen, but there's a lot to talk about and a lot to consider when talking about this speculation, this rumor, or this high hopes and dreams that one of these musical artists will be performing the theme song. And like I said, it'd be really cool, it'd be really cool, but I don't know if it's bound to happen for Dino Fury. So, Here's my speculation of how this is going to go. So the final panel for the Hasbro Pulse Entertainment Convention, the last panel is the Power Rangers one. It's the one they'll be closing in on for the convention at the end of the day on day two. And then Fallout Boy is going to be their closing act for the convention. So this is how I feel like a lot of people are speculating how it's going to go down. So they're going to have a preview for Dino Fury and be like, this is Dino Fury and guess who's going to be performing the song, Fallout Boy. And I think that's how a lot of people are speculating how it's going to go down. They're going to say, oh, and our closing act is performing the brand new song, Dino Fury such and such. And that's how I think a lot of people are speculating how it could go down. And it could go down that way. But my speculation on how this is going to go down, Fallout Boy is probably going to be doing a cover of Go Go Power Rangers or something like that. They're, like, they're going to do their own rendition of Go Go Power Rangers. Possibly. Possibly. Because after the Dino Fury hype, they're like, hey, that Fallout Boy doing a Power Rangers song. That's how I feel like it's going to go down. Now, why do I think these bands are not going to be doing the Power Ranger theme songs for the season? Well, this is my speculation, and it's not much to go on because someone could easily debunk it or something like that in the comment section or on Twitter or in the DMs or something like that. And that is, does Hasbro have the money to afford these bands doing the theme songs? Like, because if you pay if you pay the band money to do the theme songs, you are paying them a fair bit of money, but then you have to then you have to acknowledge the actual bands where they get paid royalties for commercials and TV spots and reruns and stuff like that. Every time the theme song gets played on TV, on radio, on broadcast and stuff like that, there's royalties involved and that means Fallout Boy would be getting a big fat paycheck every time that theme song comes on if they perform it. So I don't know who pays them on that half, whether it's um, Hasbro and Nick or something like that. They have to pay for that boy from their wallets to for the for the um royalty rights for that theme song. And that's why I'm sort of on the fence thinking that Fallout Boy is not doing the theme song. Because does Hasbro have enough money to pay for the theme song? Because Hasbro and Power Rangers, they only have such a budget. They only have such a budget per episode. Like it's not a big Game of Thrones budget for Power Rangers. Now we're almost five minutes into the video and you're wondering, Ash, what about the other two bands? Well, Lions I know nothing about because I'm a boomer when it comes to music, but Tenacious D, that would be cool to see them do a Power Rangers cover band, but the band Tenacious D, um, Jack Black and Kyle Gass, back in the day, 
they weren't your most fan family friendly band. I mean, Tribute played on the radio, and then I bought their album when I was a kid, and oh boy, were my parents quick to confiscate that album from me or playing it out loud around the house. That is for sure. So. I don't know if Tenacious D is going to be that because I know Jack Black is like a family friendly movie name these days with all the stuff he's been doing but I don't know if the band entirely is best suited for a Power Rangers um, opening theme song if people your angry Karens and your angry moms and parents track the the track the history of the band I don't think they'd be very happy with that although hearing a Tenacious D cover of Go Go Power Rangers or even the Dino Fury song that would be fucking sweet I mean I'd be on board for that I mean I'm on board more for a Tenacious D cover of Go Go Power Rangers or the Dino Fury theme more than I am for Fallout Boy so if you tuned out here's the brief version of what I've been talking about for the past six to five minutes I think that Maybe the bands like Fall Out Boy, Tenacious D or Lights, whatever, whoever's doing the ending song is probably going to do a cover theme of the Power Rangers theme song, Go Go Power Rangers or Dino Fury. And maybe, just maybe, because this could be a big surprise if Hasbro does have the cash to have those bands as the main performers for the theme song for the season, then maybe that will be their introduction to them being the Dino Fury. So I'm more on the fence of saying I don't think these bands are going to be doing the theme song for Power Rangers because I don't think Hasbro has the budget to do it. Well, they probably do, but they don't want to use it on Power Rangers, that's just my speculation and guess, it'd be really cool, but I don't think it's gonna happen, it'd be cool if it does happen, and if it does happen and I'm wrong, then I'll come out and apologize and say that I'm wrong, because that's what people love on the internet, when people admit that they're wrong, um, so I'll definitely, definitely be giving you guys an update o over the weekend once this, um, Hasbro Pulse Con comes to an end for sure, so yeah, what do you think? Do you think these bands are going to play the theme songs for Power Rangers? Or do you think they're just going to do some sort of cover theme on stage? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your opinions. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Take care. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.